Okay, next we're going to look at two examples that have to deal with uh, exponents. So we'll do one with an E to start out with. Okay, so again, uh, you always want to write these out within the proper form. So this one right here, I can use that as x to negative 1. So when I uh, do the antiderivative for this, raise the power by 1, divide by the new power. Now when I integrate that, I can't use the inverse power rule because you're dividing by 0. So this is a problem that's going to turn into a natural log. Okay, so if you have 1 over x, that's going to turn into natural log of x. Now I'll take care of this one. I have minus 2, and I'm going to integrate e to the 2x. That's that one that it involves the k value. It's going to be 1 over k, and then e to the 2x. So I'm going to do 1 over 2 times e to the 2x. And that takes care of that antiderivative. It's going to go from 1 to 2. Let's do a simplifying step. Natural log of x minus e to the 2x. We're going 1 to 2. So we'll put in a 2 first, natural log of 2 minus e to 2 times 2. And I have minus with a 1 put in there, natural log of 1 minus e to the 2 times 1. All right, so this is going to give us natural log of 2 minus e to the 4th. And then inside here, natural log of 1 is 0, minus minus will give you a plus e squared, and then these are not like terms, so that would be as far as you can go with your answer. Here's another one that has an exponent. This time our base is 2. So these have a special formula. When you integrate something like this, that's a to the x, the formula is 1 over k ln of a, and then times a to the x. So in this case, our 1 in front of the x there, that's your k value. Your a value is 2 here, so when you use the formula, it's going to look like this. You're going to do 1 over k, which is 1, and then natural log of a. So I have 1 over 1 times ln 2, and then I'm going to multiply this by the original one we have, 2 to the x. And then we're putting in our numbers from negative 1 to 2. So I have, I can write this all, make it one fraction, 2 to the x over ln 2. So I'm going to do 2 squared over natural log of 2, then I have minus 2 negative 1 over natural log of 2. So we're going to simplify this, get 4 on top over natural log of 2. This 2 here I'm going to put on the bottom, so I have 1 over 2 natural log of 2. And you could leave it like that, or if you'd like to get some common denominators, you can do that as well. If I multiply top and bottom by 2, then I get 8 minus 1, which means I could also write this as 7 over 2 natural log of 2. And at any rate, you don't want to change this into a decimal. You want to keep it here in terms of natural logs because they're, usually they want the exact answer for these.